Hey guys, it's me, Keysong, with uh, King Song Sneakers, both YouTube and Instagram. Follow, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, and today I'm going to talk about a sneaker that I got about a year ago that sort of started all this for me. It really got me into sneakers. And that sneaker is this one. It is a one mix, something or other. Can't tell you uh, the model and can't really tell you much about it because um, my first edit of this video, I actually tried to Google what this shoe was and it wasn't on Amazon anymore uh, and I threw the box away when I got them because I just wasn't there in my sneaker collecting phase so I um, guess I'll tell you a little bit about it and anyway but more more than anything this video is just about why uh, I'm into sneakers now so cue the intro <laughs> Well, you've seen me walk uh, in the shoes and you know what it's like to be me um, this sneaker right here one mix uh, I can't tell you the model again I can tell you that it's got air on it uh, it's got straps fits like a sock uh, no tongue fake nice big uh, heel tab sturdy ankle support this is pretty solid though so gives you the illusion of feeling locked in but to be honest with you these straps are pretty much useless i mean these are like the elastic stuff that keeps your boxers on so it's not gonna keep your foot from sliding i did comically try to play basketball on these and it rolled my ankle <laughs> um but uh otherwise the shoe fits pretty um narrow if you get true to size it's a narrow foot um and uh, i didn't buy it true to size i bought it one size up so toe box is a little roomy but because of the narrowness of the shoe, it definitely fit well. And 11 is like my safe size if I'm not sure how it's gonna fit. You know, all my Nikes I get in 11 because I know they're narrow and they fit. This is also narrow, but because of the sock, you could probably go true to size and be fine. You would probably just hang over a little bit over here. I mean, you can see where like my arch has really started to push this over the, the curve on the, as they call this the medial side, so. Um, yeah, it always scared me as if I was going to ruin shoes if, if that pushed over too much right there. But uh, in my experience, I haven't ruined anything yet. How did I get to buying Yeezys uh, and loud air monies right there um, and talking to people about what kind of Air Maxes they liked? Well, uh, used to buy lugs. I had one or two pairs of lugs on at a time. Um, real outdoorsy with them, fished, worked in the yard, bled on them, and so on. And they started looking pretty bad. And um, I was at work, and I was asking people about, you know, what kind of shoes I should get. And uh, you know, one guy that I work with happens to be a sneakerhead, and then another guy, uh, a good friend of mine actually, who I didn't work with, but was also in the market for a new pair of sneakers. He was on his feet all day long. Um, we ended up looking on the internet together together but separately um, and I was linking in different shoes you know but they were really shoes that spoke to me but it hadn't really occurred to me what that meant yet um, started showing that sneakerhead friend of mine shouts to Eric again um, different sneakers that I thought were pretty cool um, he laughed at me for a few of them but for some of them you know they were pretty nifty but I think that the brand itself probably was off-putting because it is a Chinese brand and I'm pretty sure they knock off everything that's on this shoe from one another brand or another I could be wrong I haven't done enough of my research to know you know I know a little bit of the story of Nike and Adidas and how they got where they're at and you know the relationship with Puma and so on and so forth but this brand really honestly unfamiliar with but I'll tell you when I got this shoe in the mail opened up the box I thought wow you know this is pretty like fun it wasn't just a regular shoe box you know it was it had a bunch of art on it um, the paper was fun everything about it was interesting and the fit was nice I mean honestly this shoe fits well it breathes I'm pretty sure the insole is like memory foam and I'm not gonna say that this air unit on there is better than a Nike or anything but you certainly know it's there you feel a little bit of support a little bit of cushion um, and it was nice and it still is nice I mean I've worn this shoe honestly more than I've worn anything else in my collection you know down the side here I mean because I've had it the longest uh, and it's still in my rotation you know even though I have other things to wear um, 
But once I got the shoe and I was showing it around, you know, after opening the box and I felt like I needed to keep it clean and, you know, sort of coincidentally, Nike store opens up down the road from where I work and there I was the day it opened and I bought a couple more shoes and here I am now um, trying to figure out how I'm going to pick up two or three more shoes this month and maybe another pair next month and then probably not for Christmas because it's Christmas and you know, buy something for the family. So who knows, maybe... Maybe they'll get me shoes. Is that a hint? Um, anyway, <laughs> this shoe, uh, it really it really started it for me. So, you know, leave a comment below. Um, tell me about what got you into sneakers, what sneaker did it for you. I personally um, am a late bloomer. Uh, this only happened about a year ago. Um, really, just as a kid growing up, I. Uh, my first young years of shoes, the first thing I remember is picking them out at the at the thrift store when my parents were um, thrift shopping for things for eBay <laughs> way back when that was a thing. And then, you know, as I grew up, uh, I started doing skate shoes and I skateboarded a lot and I tore those shoes up and it wasn't, they didn't mean anything to me. They were just to protect my foot from the board. It wasn't about the style. Um, and I would wear them until they weren't functional anymore and then I would get new ones and by I would get new ones I mean my lovely aunt would buy me new ones and It wasn't until recently that I really got into this sneaker culture and I'll tell you it's an interesting thing It is very interesting this the people how involved it is how widespread it is even people who aren't necessarily sneakerheads do care about their shoes the same way that people care about stains on their coats and stains on their shirts um, they care about stains on their shoes, you know, you don't have to be a sneaker head to be a sneaker head. So I thought that was very interesting and it just appealed to me, the history of it all, culture behind it. Um, and once I started, started noticing other people, you know, I mean, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be lying to you if I said that when I walk around in the mall now I'm looking at other people's shoes and they're, and we catch each other looking at each other's shoes periodically and I just, I think that's funny. I think it's cool. Uh, it's just another way to bring people together in the world, but also a way to define yourself as an individual. So um, leave a comment below and tell me your story. What got you into shoes? Was it that pair of Jordan 11s that the kid next door had? Or, you know, was it the Christmas present from your uncle? The um, pair of New Balance 9, 990s or whatever. Tell me your story in the comments. I'll get back to you guys. Um, always respond to my comments really because I only have a few <laughs> on all my videos but uh, really make it a point to to respond to everybody because you know I'm this is a community it really is so um, yeah I'll catch you guys next time